back once again. How does Islam take over a country? Islam takes over a country by first of all getting laws changed in the country that they're trying to rule. One of the main laws that they try to change is the freedom of speech. And they, they have been working with the United Nations to get criticism of Islam banned for its member nations. They've already done this. Um, but they want to be able to end all criticism of their uh, so-called religion. So that the truth cannot be, so the truth cannot get out. Okay. Then they put members of Islam in the local governments, such as such as Obama has done in Washington D.C. Uh, such as what's going on in Dearborn, Michigan. Half of the city council is Muslim, I think. Anyway, they infiltrate the government and they stop immigration laws that, that allows more of them to come into the country. And as the more that they get there into a country, the faster they can rule the country. Uh, and Obama, Obama knows this. Okay. Uh, they don't want the truth of Islam to get out. Uh, also, they when they first come into the country, they claim that their uh, rights are being violated as as a minority. Uh, they don't have rights to do anything that ordinary Americans are allowed to do. And the, the lights get, the lights, you know, get interfered with. So it's like a civil rights issue with them. But when enough Muslims get here, then it's reversed. Once they gain power, there is no rights. Their their law is absolute. Uh, their rules are absolute law. So they're a very deceitful people. They so far in America they have infiltrated the schools in the Common Core program. One of the school books from Florida, they have had one uh, one whole section of a school book dedicated to Islam and the five pillars of Islam and what Islam is all about. But then they only have a couple of paragraphs and they're about Christianity. In California schools, they're teaching that there is only one God, and that is Allah. So we, we are slowly seeing the changes in our country of what Islam is doing to us. It starts out slow at first, and then, then they become more and more and more aggressive. Obama's also wanting to have more Muslims in the United States military. That's one of his goals. Obama does not care about this country. He has not cared about this country from day one. 
he was a plant put in there by the Democratic Socialist Party of America and the Nation of Islam. There's no other explanation. I never even heard of the man till he was running for president. That tells you something right there. There's too much secrecy in this man's life that he does not want revealed. Uh, it's just too strange, you know. He does not want any of his past life disclosed if it can be done. So that tells us one thing, and that is that he, quote, unquote, is hiding something, okay? He's hiding an agenda. Now what surprises me about this one thing is, since Muslim teaches, I mean, since Islam teaches that homosexually, homosexuality and LGBT uh, is a sin, uh, why do you have laws passed? Okay. Well, it's entirely against the laws of Islam. My belief is that the gays are being set up for slaughter when he, when Islam finally reaches his country. <coughs> Uh, now the, our Supreme Court is making law, which is cannot do under the Constitution. The Supreme Court cannot make any laws under the, under our Constitution. They can only rule laws already made. All laws that are done, all laws have to pass through Congress before they can become law. Obama has done this time after time after time. And I think he's just trying to see what he can get away with or how far he can go before they really do something about him. He's like a small child that when they get new babysitter, they, they test out the limits with the new babysitter to see what they can get away with, okay? Uh, that's what it's like. Uh, another thing is, is in, in Islamic countries, uh, they want gun control laws. They want guns banned so that there's very little resistance against them. Uh, the best example of this is when the United Kingdom banned uh, guns back in 91, I think it was. They had a government buyback program. And shortly thereafter, Islam started infiltrating the country. And in, the, in this past year, 300,000 people have been assaulted, killed, murdered, robbed, whatever, with knives. 300,000. So the issue here is not with guns. The issue that this country is facing has to do with the heart, okay? Guns don't kill people. People kill people with guns, okay? Uh, so the rule of Islam is to try to strip the people 
their rights. Gradually and in a slow, slow way. Uh, so, you know, we have to we have to be aware of this, okay? Because that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to get any criticism of Islam banned. Period. Laws already been passed through in the United Nations. And it's supposed to apply all to all the United Nations countries. America needs to get out of the United Nations. We need to get out of NATO. We need to get out of the new world the work new world order. Uh, period. Right? Obama is a sidekick of the United Nations. And I, I have reason to believe that he's going to call martial law right before his, his tenure ends as president. Under martial law, he can remain president an extra six months. So... Uh, he's up to something. Anyway, God bless you all and think, ponder upon these words that I've given you today. Thank you and God bless.